Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ambal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on gate question paper in the Mechanical Engineering subject. This is lecture number 55. The topic is Fluid Dynamics. So, we take few questions in the topic Fluid Dynamics from the gate questions and we discuss the answers. The first question from 1987. When a pitot static tube is immersed in water, water stream of density rho w and differential head measured by mercury, density of rho m, mercury manometer is hm. What is the velocity of the water stream? Velocity of the water stream vw equal to square root of 2g hw. hw is the head of water column. So, the measurement is head of manometer column, uh, head of mercury column. So, we have to convert head of mercury column into head of water column. Head of water column equal to head of mercury column into density of mercury divided by density of water minus 1. So, this is the hw. Then substitute the hw here, we calculate the velocity. So, using this equation, we will solve one problem later. Next question from 1989 question paper. In a syringe as shown in the figure, so, it is a figure, a piston of 1 cm cross section is pushed by a const, at a constant speed of 10 cm per second to eject water through an outlet of 1 mm square. Determine force required to move the piston neglecting the losses. <coughs> so, this is the section 1 where the diameter is area equal to 1 cm square. This is the section 2. section 2 where the area is 1 millimeter square and this is the piston force what is the force here in the piston that is the question so the given data a1 area of the piston 1 centimeter square which is 10 power minus 4 meter square velocity here is 10 centimeter per second which is 0 0.1 meters per second area at the section 2 1 millimeter square which is 10 power minus 6 meter square. Using the Bernoulli's equation, P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2 g plus Z1 equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2 g plus Z2. Z1 equal to Z2 and P2 equal to 0. So, because at the section 2, the pressure is atmospheric pressure, P2 equal to 0. Substituting, you will get P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2 g equal to V2 square by 2 g. Now, the equation is written here again, P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g equal to V2 square by 2g. So, P1 equal to rho by 2 into V2 square minus V1 square. So, V1 is given, V2 we have to calculate from the continuity equation. V2 equal to A1 V1 by A2. So, 10 power minus 4 into 0 0.1 divided by 10 power minus 6 equal to 10 meters per second. Now, substituting pressure P1 equal to rho by 2 into V2 square minus V1 square which is 1000 divided by 2 into 10 square minus 0 0.1 square equal to 50 kilo Pascal. So, the force record equal to F equal to P1 into A1. So, P1 equal to 50 kilo Pascal, 50 into 1000 into 10 power minus 4. A1 equal to 10 power minus 4 equal to 5 Newton. So, 5 Newton is the force required to push the piston to get the discharge. Next question from 1990 question paper. A jet of water with velocity V1 as shown in the figure and the area of cross section A1 sent enters a stream of slow moving water in a pipe of area A2 and the velocity V2. So, this is the A1. So, this is the area of the pipe, velocity of the water. Area of the pipe is A1, velocity of water is V1. The two streams enter with the same pressure P1. So, here V2 is the, this is outer area of area A2, which is the, where the water is flowing through velocity, with the velocity V2. The two stream enter with the same pressure P1 after thoroughly mixing in the pipe stream, pipe the stream with the velocity V3 and the pressure P2. If there is no other losses in the flow, determine P2 minus P1, the pressure difference, outlet pressure minus inlet pressure. For V1 equal to 20 meters per second, V2 equal to 10 meters per second, A1 equal to 0 0.01 meter square, 
a2 equal to 0 0.02 meter square and density of water equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So, this is the pipe of area a2 and there is a small pipe of area a1. So, here the velocity in the pipe a1 the water flows with the velocity v1 in the pipe of area a2 the water flows with the velocity v2 these two are mixing here and leaving with the velocity v3. So, what is the determine p2 minus p1 you have to calculate the difference between outlet pressure minus the inlet pressure. So, to calculate the pressure difference first we require velocity v3 the velocity at the outlet of the pipeline. So, first we use the continuity equation to find the velocity continuity from the continuity equation a1 v1 the flow rate through the smaller pipeline a3 v2 the flow rate through the annular space equal to a2 v3 the flow rate on the outlet of the pipe. So, a1 v1 into a3 equal to a2 minus a1 outer, outer area minus the pipe area of the smaller pipe into v2 equal to a2 outer area into velocity v3. So, substitute numerical values 0 0.01 into 20 plus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.01 into 10 equal to 0 0.02 into v3. So, solving this equation v3 velocity here it is 10 meters per second. Now, applying the momentum theorem to, to the control volume P1 minus P2 into A2 equal to rho A2 V3 square minus rho A1 V1 square minus rho A2 minus A1 V2 square. So, P1 minus P2 dividing by A2 throughout. So, taking the A2 on the other side rho is a constant rho into V3 square minus A1 by A2 V1 square minus 1 by A1 by A2 into V2 square. So, P2 minus P1 rearranging P2 minus P1 equal to rho into so the negative term will become positive 1 minus A1 by A2 V2 square plus A1 by A2 V1 square minus V3 square. So, substitute numerical values P2 minus P1 equal to 1000 into 1 minus A1 by A2 equal to 0 0.5 into 10 square plus A1 by A2 equal to 0 0.5 into 20 square minus 15 square. So, solving this is 25,000 Pascal which is 25 kilo Pascal. The answer to the question the pressure difference is 25 kilo Pascal. Next question from 1992 question paper a venturi meter of throat diameter 10.5 centimeter is fitted to a water pipe of inner internal diameter 21 centimeter in order to monitor the flow rate. To improve the accuracy of measurement pressure difference across the venturi meter is measured with the help of a inclined tube manometer angle of inclination equal to 30 degree. For a manometer reading 9.5 centimeter of mercury find the flow rate. Discharge coefficient of the venturi meter is 0 0.984. So, we calculate uh, given data d1 equal to 0 0.21 meter d2 equal to 0 0.105 meter x the level difference of mercury column is 0 0.095 meter meter of mercury and coefficient of discharge equal to 0 0.984. First, we have to convert the head of mercury column into head of water column. So, the head of water column H equal to x into specific weight of Hg mercury divided by specific weight of water minus 1. So, x equal to 0 0.095 into 13.6 divided by 1 minus 1. So, calculating the head of water column is 0 0.5985 meter. Now, the area area of the pipe pi by 4 d 1 square equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.21 square equal to 0 0.0346 meter square area of the throat section pi by 4 d 2 square equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.105 square equal to 0 0.00866 meter square. So, the actual discharge q equal to c d into a 1 a 2 divided by square root of a 1 square minus a 2 square into square root of 2 g h substitute numerical values. 0 0.984 into 0 0.0346 into 0 0.00866 divided by square root of 0 0.0346 square minus 0 0.00866 square into square root of 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.5984. So, calculating discharge equal to 0 0.03016 meter cube per second which is 30.16 liters per second. So, discharge equal to 30.6 liters per second. The next question from gate 2001 question paper 
water of density 1000 kg per meter cube flows horizontally through a nozzle into the atmosphere under the conditions given below. At the inlet A1 equal to 0.001 meter square, B1 equal to 2 meters per second, P1 equal to 3 bar. At the outlet A2 equal to 0.001 meter square, P2 equal to P atmosphere. Determine the external horizontal force needed to keep the nozzle in its place. So, the water is flowing through the nozzle. So, there is a jet of water leaving at the section 2. There is a possibility of nozzle to move backward. So, to avoid the backward movement of the nozzle, we have to give some force in this direction. So, what is the force required? That is the question. So, this is the data and this is the pressure acting here. The force what is needed to keep the nozzle in position. That is what the question. First, we calculate the velocity at the exit V2 equal to A1 V1 by A2 using the continuity equation 0 0.001 into 2 divided by 0 0.0001 equal to 20 meters per second. The force P force equal to F equal to P1 A1 plus M into V1 minus V2. So, P1 A1 into rho M mass flow rate of water equal to rho A1 V1 into V1 minus V2. So, substitute the numerical values. F equal to 3 into 10 power 5. Pressure P1 equal to 3 bar. So, 3 into 10 power by 5 into A1 equal to 0 0.001 plus 1000. Density of water 1000 into 0 0.001 into velocity V1 equal to 2 into 2 minus 20. So, calculating the first part is 300 minus 36 equal to 264 Newton. So, the force record equal to 264 Newton. That is the answer to the question. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. Uh, you can refer to the fluid mechanics and machinery book for the theory part of the fluid dynamics. Uh, I upload the video lecture of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the video for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture uh, for the in the solution of gate question paper. Until then, bye.